Hey everyone, it's Tom from the Smash Machine again, and uh, just got out of seeing the Iron Claw. So here's my out of the theater reaction. Man, go see this movie. This is uh, one of the best movies I've seen this year. Might be the best movie I've seen this year. I'm a little biased. I grew up watching world-class championship wrestling, uh, the territory that the Von Erichs started out in. And uh, this movie uh, centers on the Von Erich family. Uh, Fritz, Kevin, David, Michael, and Kerry. They uh, left out uh, a brother named Chris, who uh, also died tragically. Um, but this is so well done. They maybe screwed up the timelines a little bit on some things um but nothing nothing really bad um if you don't know the the story uh the von erics were wrestling brothers and uh basically all of them died except for kevin um so this story really deals with the family as each brother passes and how they deal with it and how some of the characters don't deal with it. Uh, uh, the character of Fritz von Erich, the patriarch of the family, uh, if this is true to form to how he really was in life, the dude was a monster. Uh, yeah, absolute asshole. Excuse the expression. Um, but, the, man, it's just... I can't believe Kevin Von Erich was so brave to let this get made. Um, most of the story is told through Kevin's eyes. And wow, that took some guts to let this be shown out on the screen. And uh, much respect to Kevin, who is living in uh, Hawaii, I believe, uh, with his entire family. And that includes, as you'll find out in the movie, his children and grandchildren um, so wow I can't recommend this movie enough I think even if you don't know the whole history of the Von Erics, uh, I still think you'll find this an intriguing great movie and I hope you all uh, head out to go see it it definitely deserves it uh, all the, the actors you know who portray each of the brothers all did a great job you can see why I mean the 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 one who really stands out to me, and I, I don't know his name because I didn't recognize him, is the one who plays Mike Von Erich. And uh, he really did a great job showing the awkwardness that Mike had and that Mike really never wanted to be a wrestler. He wanted to be a musician. And, uh, but, you know, because of Fritz, he was kind of forced to do it. Um, that was something I learned tonight. And uh, I thought that that was very cool. Um it was a great training montage scene set to Tom Sawyer by Rush, which, as you may know, uh, it was Carrie Von Erich's entrance song whenever he wrestled in Texas. Uh, I believe they did change that when he spent a short time in the then WWF, now WWE, um, as the Texas Tornado. Um, yeah, the, my, my biggest, probably my biggest gripe with the movie is they didn't get an actor quite big enough to play Carrie because he was taller and he was way more jacked than this guy. Not, and I'm not putting down this guy's uh, physique either, but um, yeah, Carrie was a monster. Um, and the, they kind of that's that's one of the timelines things they screw up when when Carrie passes. It's not right when he gets released from the WWE or WWF at the time. Uh, but that is like really that and like. The other thing that stood out to me was they have Gino Hernandez wrestling in Texas in 1979, and I don't believe he wrestled in Texas in 1979. But that's just me getting ultra nitpicky because I grew up watching this stuff. Um, all the actors do a great job, and I can't say it's a fun movie because it's a tragic, tragic t story. But anyway... I highly recommend it. I think it's going to be my favorite movie of the year. If not, it's going to be in the top three for sure. And uh, hope you all like it too. Um, next up for movies, I'm not sure. Um, next up for concerts will be uh, Sack Wild, January 6th. 
doing Zach Sabbath at the Paradise. And uh, yeah, it's also two days before Christmas and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And uh, yeah, please uh, leave your comments on the movie once you see it. And um, yeah, subscribe to my channel. And just like I said, Merry Christmas, everybody. Be well. Peace.